The Montreal Impact are on pace to make history, but they will be stranded without their map. On this week's Pretender Contender, we debate whether they stand a chance without their key midfielder. Welcome back, Alex Choco, David Hurley, Pierre Just. David, Justin Map is a huge part of the Montreal Impact success. It's going to hurt them down the stretch. Do you still think that they're a pretender contender to move I on? I think they're still a contender, but he's an integral piece that they're going to be missing. I mean, if you look at a right winger that comes in and, and really crosses the ball and helps play it to the midfield and the strikers, Justin Mapp is going to be a huge loss. I think that should, they should look at Blake Smith, uh, a former uh, eighth overall pick uh, for the Montreal Impact. Spent last year in Indianapolis on loan. I think he gained a lot of experience, and I think he's going to be able... I think Montreal needs to see his black flip celebrations. This guy has had the magic against Kansas City, and I think he's going to be able to do it against Alohenze. How much do you think the loss, 1-0 loss to DC United will, will play on there? You know, the, it being the first game of the season. Uh, yeah, it was, it, the weather, sort of yeah, yeah it's, there's definitely some, some factors in there. But I think the goal, Evan Bush just came out, and it was a bad play. Uh, I think the impact got... Camaro almost scored at the end. It was a close game, but I think they'll be able to bounce back. It's going to be a big, big stadium. It's going to be close to 50,000 50, 50, yes. fans. They're expecting almost 55,000 yeah. fans, yes. and, and I definitely think that they're a contender. I'm curious to see if you think uh, the Montreal Impact as a whole are pretenders or contenders when it comes to the promoting of this event and promoting you know, how much oh, they've, they've been an integral. Have they done a well job from a promotional job. standpoint? Absolutely. I mean, hats off to the Saputos and and everything they have done. The Marcon L'Histoire yes. uh, hashtag as well. That's a, that's a, that's a great hashtag. Beautiful, that's, beautiful, the, beautiful The fans beautiful are story. definitely into the team, and it's a, it's a breath of fresh air. I mean, we love the Habs. I love the Habs, but to have another team in yeah. here that, that gives the fans something to root for, it's definitely interesting. Well, not only that, keep in mind that besides boxing, <laughs> soccer is probably the most affordable sport yeah. well, yes. for so, any kid to join. Play. It, yeah. it is the most played Unless sport in Canada, in, the Canada. In, in terms of the role I, 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 I just I came it. back from Costa Rica. That's why I have this, this wonderful tan. And I had the opportunity <laughs> of seeing the CONCACAF Champions League played down there. And I had to, just watching how the public was glued to their television yeah. sets. Yeah. I mean, even the stray dogs in the cities were outside the bars so looking at the televisions. Yeah. Yeah. So if Montreal could get a little bit of that flavor, yeah. get something different other than the Montreal Canadiens, yeah. bring some sporting history to the city, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. good for everyone. The, uh, the only thing at some point, and that's not just for Montreal, it's for the whole league in general, is if they could find a way to get bigger names. Yeah. They they're will on their have. Way. They're, they're, they're on their, their way. Yeah, but see, the I, 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 my father is French, right? Yeah. You know, and when you they're come still, from France, you have the such a special correct, bond yeah. with 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 the with the teams. Yeah, you have your star athletes. Right. In the same way, like they have in hockey. Yeah. In North America, unfortunately, in soccer, they don't have it, that. They do yet. come, but they come at the age of 32, 33. And North America needs to spend a little bit more money. Get them a little young. Get it. Get them a little bit younger. We know we'll never compete with Europe. I mean, the North American leagues will never compete with South America and yeah, never compete sure with Europe. Maybe, 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 maybe they need to start thinking that they can. But look, Kaká, we saw it last weekend. Kaká and Orlando City's new debut with David Villa playing yeah, for New York City. FC. I mean, look, look at these guys. 65,000 fans to go watch a game. Kaká is, is a, a, a Ballon d'Or winner, 32-year-old. Yeah. Again, still too old. But he should still, if we can get him a younger age, this league will grow. Kind of when, when David Beckham came here, the league grew. Mm -hmm. That's, it has an opportunity to do so again. Yeah, and like up, you said, uplift, uh, get some younger players. Yeah. Talk about an opportunity. What an opportunity it was to have you on the show. Thanks for taking the time. Thank I know you, you got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm excited to see what you're going to do in the next six months. I have this weird feeling you're going to do really well. I want <laughs> to talk you. about this book that you've got going on. And it is The Future of Boxing. Amazing stuff. Really, really proud of what you've been able to do. Talk to us uh, real quick about where well, people can find and what the story is. It's a five-year journey where I had the fortune to meet every, well, ring legend I could meet. Yeah. Uh, 55 of them granted us one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, but now we have the collector's edition that are being sold. Uh, the most signed recent by? one signed was Mike Tyson. There it is. Following That's Toronto right. and That's Monaco. Precious by the way, I yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Three, there's saying, only 100, uh, and there's... Minus three for the staff. 70-something <laughs> left. We'll, 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 we'll talk about okay. 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 that. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Stay with us. My one-on-one -on -one with MMA legend Frank Shamrock is up next. You don't want to miss it.